evil creature of the night, killer of mouse and other vermins. Ha! I got you! Ha ha! You can't flee away from me! You can't! <laughs> We're back to do some unit testing for your code together with Slubich and Janke. As we've seen in the previous video, um, which is vital to understand this uh, video, so in the debug video, we installed Slubich, GCC, GDB, and local platform. To be able to do unit testing, we also need to install Google Test. So let's do it. Here is the slewer as I left it when at the end of the demo of doing the debug testing. So we have here a program with two configurations, a local debug and release. And what we need to do now is to create another configuration to do unit testing and add Google tests. We're back to GitHub. And we have the Arduino libraries here. Again, clone this and copy the URL by clicking this button and your clone. Yeah, we go again, file, import. Projects from kits, clone URI. And Arduino who already takes the what's in the Okay Master This is Unit Test Next Next Finish so We now have another project with a bunch of libraries and the one which is interesting is the g-test for this demo so we again need to tell Sluber that the project we just created is actually libraries so we tell him that on this pc on the c drive we have a unit test folder which contains git folder directory which contains Arduino libraries, which is a library. Okay, here we are. In our project, we're going to create a new configuration. Let me create a new one. And we call it unit unit test k okay, okay. going to unit test and we will say it's not debug but we now change this to unit test that's all there is to now again we go to the configuration and we set the set active unit test and now if you compile it won't work why because we haven't defined any tests yet see is uh, he's complaining about something see he's no reference to win main What you do, Arduino, add library, add library, and we add the gtest to it, finish. So problem with the code we currently have is that it's not written to be able to do unit test. So uh, let's just delete this one. <laughs> and take the whole thing from here
So we replace the code. So basically what this is my the way I advise to do you that to do this type of things, you have your decision code, which decides on the let state, which is independent of any Arduino code. This is here. There's no Arduino API methods in here. And uh, the result is then passed to a Arduino method. And now we can unit test calc let state. So let's start by compiling this one now. run as, run configurations. Now we do a unit test. We create a new unit test. Uh, of course, this is now not release, but it's unit test and blink.exe. Yeah. The arguments testing and as test runner, we take Google test runner and we go run. And as you see, he says, everything's fine. No failures, no error. This goes really, really quickly. So which test did we do? We ran the calculate uh, state with zero and high and we expected high. So this is actually what you're doing here is unit tests to calculate, you call a method with parameters and you say what you should be returned or whatever. So we've done start on and off and all tests were successful. For instance, if we would say here that we expect low, which is wrong, yeah, and we run it again, I need to save. Now we have one failure. And he tells here, this one failed, which is obvious because we changed it. And that's basically all there is to it. Thank you. Bye bye.